Hi everybody, it's me, Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com, and I received in the mail yesterday another amazing looking box from our friends at Hasbro, the toy company. And look at what's on the top of the box here. It is Star Wars, Ahsoka, and there's Ahsoka Tano herself, played by Rosario Dawson in the show that's currently being released right now on Disney+. Plus. We just had episode six come out this week. It was pretty amazing in my opinion. Uh, I'm a big fan of the show. Very happy to have received this box from Hasbro. There's the side of the box. We're gonna open it up and see everything that is inside. It's gonna be, I imagine, <laughs> I've already cut it open here, but I haven't taken a look. I imagine it's filled with toys from Ahsoka. And yes, indeed, We've got some toys from Ahsoka. Here's a uh, Star Wars Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano Black Series 6-inch figure. I actually, I think this is a repackage of the one that came out with the Mandalorian, so I may have it already. Let me take a look and see if it's the same figure. So yeah, this is the Ahsoka figure from the Mandalorian, and I believe it is the same. So this one was sent to me by Hasbro a couple years ago in one of the Mandalorian promotional boxes for us to check out. And this is the repackaged version from Ahsoka. It is a very nice package. I really like the artwork there and on the back. So I think this is going to stay in the box. But uh, that's what the figure looks like once you have removed it. Front and back. Two lightsabers as she carries in the show. And let's take a look at what's next. We've got Sabine Wren, kind of the co-lead character of Star Wars Ahsoka in her live-action form. Of course, this character first appeared in Star Wars Rebels, the animated series. Sabine has a removable Mandalorian helmet, Ezra's lightsaber that she uses now in Ahsoka, and her two blasters. Let's, let's open her up. I do not have a Sabine Black Series figure. I know there was one released for Rebels, her appearance in the way she looks in the animated series. But I don't have that figure. So very cool to have this one. Let's get her out of the packaging here. Okay, so there is Sabine out of the package. She's got her purplish hair, she's got her Mandalorian armor, nicely painted, nicely decorated, and she's got two of my favorite features as far as action figures go. You've got working holsters, so we can put the blasters right there in the holsters, great, and you've got a removable helmet which goes right over her head I know people have been complaining about the Sabine helmets being a little oversized and I definitely think I see that here it actually it doesn't fit that snugly like it it kind of falls off if I tip her upside down so I think it could have been a tiny bit smaller maybe but it is a really it does look really nice I think it's just maybe slightly too large but I am not a toy designer and I don't know how difficult it is to get that kind of thing to work appropriately but it looks good and I would say close enough so here is the uh, the lightsaber again uh, Ezra when Ezra disappears at the end of Star Wars Rebels, he leaves his lightsaber with Ahsoka, and she's using it throughout the show so far. Um, I won't spoil anything beyond that, but there you go. There's uh, Sabine Wren with her helmet on, holding Ezra's lightsaber, and she got her blasters in the holsters there. Let's put one of them in her hand okay 
Yeah, looking pretty good. Very nice figure. Definitely happy to have that one. Let's move on to the next figure. And look who it is, the person we've been talking about. It's Ezra from Star Wars Ahsoka. So this is Ezra Bridger, parentheses Lothal, which means that it's a representation of what that character looked like at the end of Rebels when he's sending that hologram that we see at the beginning of Ahsoka, but with the live action actor, this face is meant to uh, resemble the likeness, uh, it, it is the likeness of uh, Iman Esfandi, I think is the name of the new actor playing him, and uh, I think it looks really good. There's the artwork on the back and the side. He comes with his lightsaber, same lightsaber, and a DL, I think that's the DL-44 Han Solo blaster, kind of standard issue. Let's open him up here. I don't, I also don't have a uh, an Ezra figure. I know that there was one made for the animation in the Black Series, but I think this is, you know, this is a slightly older Ezra. Pop him out here. I'm dropping pieces all over the place. But there he is. There's Ezra Bridger. Removed from the packaging. And again, this is what he was wearing at the end of Star Wars Rebels when he sends that hologram to Sabine and you also see that hologram recreated in live action in Ahsoka. So we'll give him his lightsaber. Now he's also got his blaster there. So we'll put that in again another nice working holster which I always like to see. Great looking figure. Really like that a lot. Wonderful paint job. Love the colors. Nice detailing. Let's take a look at uh, Sabine and Ezra together since they're buddies. Really nice. Of course, they are both holding the same lightsaber, so if I had them on display together, I probably would take that away from Sabine and just have Ezra holding it. But let's see what else we got in this box. Oh, look, there's another Black Series figure. This is what I collect, so I'm most excited for the Black Series, and this is definitely one that I wanted. This is a character that was introduced in The Mandalorian in the second season episode, The Jedi, when we first saw Ahsoka Tano in live action, and her name is Morgan Elspeth. We've recently found out on Ahsoka that she is descended from the Dathomiri Night Sisters, so uh, let's pop her open here. She's played by uh, a stunt performer named Diana Lee Inosanto in both series. Let's get her out of the package. And sadly, she doesn't come with any, any weapons or anything. I would have liked to have maybe the orb, the, the map orb, or, or something, you know, from the show, or even the Beskar spear that she has in The Mandalorian, but... Unfortunately, no weapons or accessories with this character, but it is a really nice likeness. Obviously, uh, looks just like the actress. There's the backside, and she's got the nice long brown uh, dress, skirt, and I, I just really want... Well, I'm not going to spoil this last week's episode, but there's some characters that pop up there that I want figures from as well to go with her. And if you've seen the episode, the most recent one, you know who I'm talking about. But yeah, this this figure is really nice and I'm really super glad to add it to my collection. Okay, that's uh, that's the six inch black series. I don't see any more in here, but we do have a figure from the three and three quarter inch scale vintage collection from Star Wars Ahsoka. And this is, again, it's Sabine Wren. Um, what's really cool about this figure is that she comes with a Lothcat. The rest of the figure is pretty much the same, except 
Um, she has a, a pouch, like a satchel. Um, let's see. There's some other little accessory that she comes with. She does have the two blasters, the lightsaber, and the removable helmet. So let's let's get her open here. But I'm really psyched to have that lock cat in the three and three quarter inch scale. I'm not sure if they've made that before, but I don't have it. Let's open this up. So there's Sabine. We'll take her out of the cardboard here. And then all the accessories are in this little paper pouch. There's the loft cat, there's the satchel, there's the helmet, lightsaber, lightsaber hilt, and what is this? This is... Oh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is supposed to be. Hmm. Is that, that might be the device she's using in the most recent episode. We've got one of her blasters. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's put her together here. We've got the satchel should probably go on first. There we go. We'll put, well, this time, uh, let's see, this time I'll put the blasters in her hands. So it is a little bit more delicate being a smaller scale. And then I'm going to put the lightsaber hilt, which is separate from the ignited lightsaber. It's not a removable blade as you'd have in the Black series. So... Here's the lightsaber with the blade. The blade does not come out. It's just all one piece. So that will keep separate. And then we'll take a look at the helmet. So let's see. Is this one oversized? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I see what people are complaining about. This helmet does look uh, just, a, just a bit too big. Mm, I get it. I get the complaints with that one. The Black Series one, let's let's compare. Black Series one I can live with. It's just a tiny, tiny bit too big. But the uh, uh, Vintage Collection one, it just looks a little kind of comically large. <laughs> but maybe you keep, you know, on display, just keep the helmet off of her. I actually wonder, no, that helmet's too small for sure for the Black Series one. But again, a very nice figure. Let's look at the Loth Cat. There he is. So he's got an articulated head. Uh, that's the only articulation he has in the head. But again, really nice. I always like to get creatures. You don't get a ton of creatures in the action figures anymore, even in, in Black Series or Vintage Collection. I wish they did more creatures. So, great to have uh, a Loth Cat, her little pet, from Ahsoka. And here's the comparison again of the two different scales of the Sabine Wren figure. So you can see the size difference between a 6-inch scale and a 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. Okay, what else we got in... This box, let's see. This is, oh, a big figure. So this is, I think, about a 12-inch Ahsoka Tano Galactic Action figure. And let's see, on the back it says, she's got different phrases. Trust your instincts, surrender or face the consequences. May the force be with you. Sound effects and phrases. And she's got her two lightsabers. Obviously, they're kind of... Welded into her hands, but... Trust your instincts. Oh, yeah, there we go. May the Force be with you. Surrender, or face the consequences. The Force is an energy field created by all living things. To wield it takes a great deal of training. I sense much fear in you. Surrender, or face the consequences. 
<laughs> oh, and that one ignites the sabers. Turns them on and off. They glow. Sounded like a Wookiee there for a second. I don't know how to turn them back off, but let's uh let's open this up. Oh, I'm gonna need some scissors to cut her loose here. So I think what I've discovered just leaving for a moment to get the scissors is that uh, if you leave her for about half a minute or less, she turns off automatically. The sabers will turn off. Let's pop her out here. Oh, oh she's got another string holding her in. Yeah. One back there, too. Yep. Oh, and on her ankles. There she is. So this would be a big scale, 12-inch scale, I believe, Ahsoka Tano. There's articulation in her neck, just kind of, yeah, rotating back and forth. Not so much up and down. Uh, on her wrist, you can rotate back and forth, which is good. And that would be it as far as, no, no, her, sorry, her shoulders. You can lift the arms up and down. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five points of articulation. Legs don't move. This is the speaker where her voice That's will come out. Sometimes the student guides the master. And then the saber's on there. I'm going to leave her for a minute and see if she turns off. May the force be with you. So she says one phrase. May the force be with you. Then a second phrase, which was the same one repeated and, and the lightsabers turned off. But a very nice figure. Um, probably for younger kids than the other ones because it is, you know, larger, fewer pieces. There's actually, it's one piece. Exactly. There's no separate the the blades are not removable no separate accessories but uh a cool figure nevertheless okay let's see what's next in this box the mission fleet oh i don't want to lose um these accessories from sabine here i'm gonna put those aside and we've got the mission fleet which is again for younger kids it's ages four and up it's action figures but they're a little bit smaller actually uh, scale than the other one. So let's take this. Uh, this is going to be uh, Ahsoka, Luke, and Grogu, and R2-D2 from the Book of Boba Fett with the training uh, training remote and one of the frogs. Uh, there's the back. Shows you everything that's inside there. This is when they're on that planet, Ossus. I had to think for a minute to remember what the name of the planet was uh, in Book of Boba Fett where Luke was training little Grogu, so let's uh, let's continue to pop this open. Okay, so bunch of little separate paper bags here. Who's first? It's gonna be Grogu. Oh, he has like a little <laughs> a little satchel that he runs. Or he. Uh, and train in. There's a little, hmm, not sure what that is. We'll figure that out. Then you've got Luke. Whoa. So this is Luke Skywalker in the years following Return of the Jedi when he's setting up his Jedi training academy. A nice little figure. I would say it's about maybe two and a half inches, if that tall. And then you've got this would be Ahsoka. It's nice to have 
a different version of her, and she's got her two lightsabers as well. There you go. There's Ahsoka. Max side. And then lastly, in this package we've got R2-D2. There he is. In that scale. And the little training remote. And the frog that Grogu likes to levitate and also kind of hunger after. So again, this is all from the Book of Boba Fett, but it did include the character of Ahsoka Tano, so I'm guessing that's why it's included in this box. So what I've done here is I've put the levitating frog on this kind of mount, the stand, and then there's a little lever that you can put back and forth to kind of make him rotate in the air. That's pretty fun, actually. That's that's pretty cool. I like that little transparent stand for him. And that's everything that was in there. Here's Luke and... Ahsoka together, and if you've seen the book of Boba Fett, you know that they have met and they had a nice conversation in that show about Grogu. They even mention Anakin, I think. And let's see, I think we can probably put... Oh yeah, so this has a little peg that lets us put this pack backpack on Luke's back. And he carries, well, let's see, we'll put Grogu on the back like Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back. So there he is, training. The training begins anew with a new generation. Um, you've also got the remote. I thought the remote would also have a, oh yeah, it does have a hole in it. So you can use that same transparent stand to, let's try it out. So I'll just take the frog off of here and I'll put the training remote on to replace it and then you can have that. There you go. Next, we've got more mission fleet. Okay, this is Ahsoka's T6 Jedi shuttle from the Star Wars mission fleet from Hasbro. And let's see the back here, you've got fireable missiles from these two guns. You've got Ahsoka herself with the two lightsabers. Looks like probably it's roughly the same figure, but we'll compare them uh, from the other set. And this is the ship that she's been flying around in in the show Star Wars Ahsoka with Sabine and Hu Yang. Well, it would have been cool to get a Hu Yang in here. Uh, I know there's a Hu Yang uh, Black Series figure coming, so I will be on the lookout for that, but uh, not in this box. Okay, before we take out the ship, I'm just gonna open up these two little pouches. Okay, that one had two of those turret guns and the missile that just slides right in like that. I think you probably press this. Oh. <laughs> And it fires up and falls on the floor. So there's two of those. Okay, then we got this one is going to be Ahsoka herself Oop, and her two lightsabers. No Sabine figure in here. It's just Ahsoka. Put that in her hand. Put that in here. There you go. Let's, uh, oh, let's compare her to the Book of Boba Fett version. Is it the same? Yeah. Same figure. Okay. And then let's get the ship out of here. So this is the T-6 Jedi Shuttle. 
that Ahsoka uses in Star Wars Ahsoka. It does have landing gear that comes down. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, there it is. I'm like poking at the wrong place. There it is. Okay. Okay, there's the landing gear down on both sides. And then you've got the wing. Let's put this back in. The wing, uh, like you see on the show, can fly straight like that. Or the wing rotates around like that for a horizontal view. Cockpit pops open. Let's put Ahsoka in there. I'm going to take her lightsabers off. But we'll put Ahsoka right in there. In the cockpit. Close the cockpit canopy. And that's what it looks like with her in the ship. What's around back here? Oh, there's like a cargo compartment. We can put... Let's see. What should we put back there? R2-D2. Can ride back there. So a nice cargo compartment in the back. And there's what it looks like with Ahsoka in the cockpit and uh, the wing vertical. Oh, and then we got to put in the the guns, the turrets. So it looks like you have options here. You can put them in the front, like this. Or you can put them in the back of the wings, like that. Then we'll put the missiles, pop those in there, and when she's fighting Morgan Elsbeth and her cronies, she can fire these out like this. Yeah, cool, very cool. Mission fleet, Ahsoka ship. Let's get R two out of here before I forget that he's in there. Up next, we've got the Star Wars Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano electronic mask. And it's not so much a mask as it is her head tails, or I believe they're called Montrals, and the two little tentacles that hang down are called Leku, if I'm not mistaken. I've looked into it. Um, but there's the back of the box that says, okay, so she's got phrases that she says, Surrender or face the consequences. May the force be with you. I sense much fear in you. Phrases and sound effects. And that's what it looks like on a kid's head. This is going to be way too small for my giant head. But uh, let's get it out of here regardless. And this has to be cut loose again. Okay. Let's see if I can get the string out of here. So this... Oh, this pops open. Oh, I guess this is where the batteries go. Just get rid of the string. There's a strap. We'll keep it around a child's head. Um, I don't know if there are batteries in here. May the force be with you. Sense much fear in you. Okay, so... The batteries are already in there, and I heard the phrases. Oh, okay, here's the button. The force is an energy field created by all living things. To wield it takes a great deal of training. May the force be with you. I sense much fear in you. Okay, a few different phrases that you can have there. And then... There are the two Leku... That come out of here. Ahsoka is a member of the Togruta species that were introduced, I believe, introduced in the prequel trilogy with the character Shakti, who was a member of the Jedi Council, if I'm not mistaken. Pop that on there. Pop this on. On that side and then Ahsoka was introduced in the Clone Wars well first the uh, theatrical 
Clone Wars movie, which was really just the pilot of the TV series, the animated series. She was a regular character on that show. Um, came back in Star Wars Rebels, and then now she's in live action. We'll face the consequences. The Force is an energy field created by all living things. So there you go. That's uh, the Ahsoka... Ma they call it a mask, not really a mask, just her, her head tails, the Montrells, the Leku. And yeah, I just tried fitting it on my own head and it doesn't even remotely come close because uh, it's meant for a child and I have a giant, enormous adult head. So let's move on to the next thing. So this is... The Ahsoka Lightsaber Forge Lightsaber. Now I've got one of the missiles from her ship. Get stuck in the packaging there. I have already opened one of these in a previous unboxing video. Hasbro has sent this to me before to check out. Um, in fact, I think I might have... Oh, yeah, I know what it was. I was actually asked to um, reveal this. They sent me the kind of the prototype to reveal that this was even announced. So I was fortunate enough to be the one to um, reveal that to, to fans. I actually had to send that one back. So let's uh, let's open this up. Okay. So this is part of the lightsaber forge collection, and the really cool thing about this. I've done videos about this before, several of them actually. Um, the great thing about these is that they're mix and match. So the different parts of the hilt come apart. Oh, here we go. That button. And this button. That screws off. The blade comes off. And there's a bunch of different lightsabers, a bunch of different characters represented. And you can kind of build your own variety from all the different pieces that are available. In fact, I think uh, it would show you on the box here all the different ones, or some of the different ones. So there's like Luke's, you got a Darth Maul, uh, there's been Obi-Wan Kenobi, all sorts of different mix and match lightsaber forge lightsabers. And this is the Ahsoka one. This one, uh, let's see. It does, so some of them light up and some of them do not. This one does. So let me open this up and I'll put a battery inside there and we'll see what it looks like lit up. And I think there might be sounds as well. Hang on just a moment. Okay, I opened this up, a little screwdriver. Took two AAA batteries in there, not included in the package. Uh, and now it's ready to go. So I just press this little kyber crystal here and that ignites the blade. Doesn't do anything right now. You can see the light coming out of the top there. So I'll just turn that off, and then we gotta put the lightsaber back together, just like that. Uh, the blade goes through here. Okay, that screws back on. Now it's all together. I'm actually gonna turn off the light still light outside, but <laughs> you get the idea. And then I'm going to hit this little diamond-shaped button on the side there. And it lights up. It makes noise. It has the clashing noise and the flashing effects, the humming noise. It's a nice, fun little... So this is intended, obviously, for younger kids, too. Like I mentioned earlier, you've got the mix and match feature. Turn the light back on here. Turn that off. Blade turns off. Fun toy for kids. Every kid loves a lightsaber. And this is going to go great with that Ahsoka headdress, uh, headtails thing for kids who are going to want to dress as Ahsoka for Halloween. Coming up. All right. The last, but definitely not the least, item in this box. This might be actually the actual coolest thing that was in there. The Star Wars Ahsoka Chatterback Chopper. 
So it's motorized. It has 40 plus sound and movement combos. Um, this kid looks real happy to be talking to Chopper there. He's got the arms out of the sides of his dome. Head and body movements. It's actual size. I mean, I see what they're saying. Actual size represented here on the box, not the actual size of Chopper in the show. Uh, posable arms on the head, on the dome. Chatterback Chopper. So uh, I'm going to open this up and then we'll try to play with it a little bit. I know I'm gonna, ruining the box, but uh, for the sake of expediency, let me get this open here. Okay, first of all, my problem is I always skip the instructions because I just have no patience. Uh, but we do want to take a look at the instruction manual. It is for ages four and up, Chatterback Chopper. Um, it takes four AA batteries, which I do have. Uh, I just saw them in my drawer when I went to get the AAA, so we're good there. Um, his legs move. Um, maybe you can take out his arms. He's posable. Hold the button. Refer to battery caution information. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I get the idea. <laughs> See? Little patience for the instructions. But let's, um, let's cut out Chopper here without dropping him. Okay, Chopper is loose. Let's get the strings out of here. Wrapped around his legs. And we'll take a look at him first before using his electronic features. So that arm folds out from the front there, and you've got his two arms sticking out of the side of his dome. Oh, <laughs> look, they wave as you rotate the dome. I'm sure that's part of his movement. Then the legs are posable kind of by one notch. You can go one notch back, one notch back to the sh straight up and down position, and the feet, uh, conform to that pose as well. And then he's got his little rolly wheel in the center. Here's the back side of Chopper. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'll cut, I'm gonna clean this table up and we'll set up Chopper and take a look at his electronic functions. There's his top, there's his bottom. Everybody loves Chopper, he's got buttons to press, but we're going to put the batteries in and see what he does. Okay, so I put away the box, I cleaned up the table, and here's everything that was inside there. The Black Series figures, the Mission Fleet, the three and three quarter inch uh, vintage collection scale, Sabine Wren figure with the slightly oversized helmet, the giant uh, 12 inch Ahsoka Tano figure, I think it's called Galactic Action. Ahsoka Tano, and then we are going to take a look now at this chopper who, let me put the uh, tripod aside here. So I've put the batteries in chopper. I did a poor job of putting the casing back on, but uh, basically you screw off, there's a screw underneath here. Yeah, there you can see where the screw lives. This casing comes off, four AA batteries go in there, and then the idea is, we're going to press this button right here. Very uh, nicely animated, and when... He's got a lot of nice movement. Um, He's also reacting to my voice, which makes it tough to talk without him interrupting. <laughs> what I love about this... <laughs> Chopper, what I love about you is that you, your movements, your animation... ...really matches Chopper's personality on... On Star Wars Rebels and in Star Wars Ahsoka. He's making all sorts of noises. As you know, Dave Filoni, the creator of Ahsoka and co-creator of Rebels, 
does the voice for Chopper, and I'm assuming it's his voice coming out of this toy as well, because it certainly sounds an awful lot like him. Now, Chopper, I know, I'm going to take out your other arm here, and he reacts to that. Chopper! Hey, Chopper! <laughs> How's it going, Chopper? What's up, Chop? I love how he waves. This is one of the cooler... I mean... I don't have any other Chopper toys, but it's certainly pretty cool. You know, they made one for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This one just feels so lifelike. I love the way he moves. They really did a great job of capturing his personality, I would say. Great sounds, great movement. And I gotta put the casing back on a little bit better, but he just looks great, sounds great. Makes all sorts of different sounds, and it's uh, on the box it says there's 40 plus, I think. Different sound and movement combinations. And it really just feels like having Chopper there in your house. He doesn't make any, like, sustained rolling motion, I think, which would be nice. It's really just a lot of, like, bucking back and forth, waving his arms and rotating his dome. Um, but that's enough to make him really feel... Like the chopper we know and love. Uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this, I gotta say. This is uh, my must, you know, top pick from this box of stuff that they sent me. He'll also respond if you clap your hands or just yell at him. And then uh, I, I tested him out before I started rolling here, but here's what happens when you turn him off. Ready? Oh, so that was turning him on, because he did just turn off automatically when I left him idle for a while, but here's him turning off. Here we go. So he makes a little power down noise and we can fold his heart back in like that. Wow. Oh, there he, he's still on. I'm trying to turn you off, Chopper. There we go. Okay. Really, really nice uh, Chopper electronic toy. And this is everything that came in that box. Uh, such a cool collection of... There's the 6-inch Black Series figures of Sabine Wren, Ezra Bridger, and uh, Morgan Elsbeth. There's the Ahsoka mask or head tails. There's the uh, Mission Fleet Ahsoka's T-16... Or sorry, T-6... Jedi Transport, Jedi Shuttle, and then the Little Book of Boba Fett playset with Luke, Grogu, Ahsoka, R2-D2, the training remote. There's the Black Series Ahsoka figure that they sent me, and then this is the one that I had previously that they had also sent me um, for the Mandalorian. Same figure in a different package. And then you've got the larger, I think this is called the Galactic Action Ahsoka, the 12-inch scale but my favorite really is this chopper what a cool toy and uh fans of this character this lovable murderous droid in star wars rebels and star wars ahsoka are definitely going to want to pick that up but all these all these toys are pretty cool uh, also we've got the uh lightsaber forge uh lightsaber ahsoka lightsaber and the uh, Vintage collection Sabine Ren, but uh, a lot of very cool stuff from Hasbro for Star Wars Ahsoka available now. Uh, follow the link in the YouTube post and you can go to laughingplace.com to find out where to buy all this stuff. But uh, that's going to be it for now. My name is Mike Celestino from Laughing Place. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye.